I'm Jalen. And I'm David. We've got several stories for you here today on Rock Dead Live. <laughs> During the Giants-Chargers football game, Giants star receiver Odell Beckham Jr. injured his ankle. It appeared to have just been a rolled ankle on the play that he got injured. Odell had to be clear, carted off the field on Monday. The New York Giants announced that Odell required surgery to repair his broken ankle. The surgery will sideline Beckham for the rest of the season. This is the second time Beckham injured his ankle this season. The New York Giants currently have the record oh, 0 and 5 for the 2017 season. So guess who beat the championship winning Golden State Warriors? No, it's not the Cavs. No, it wasn't the Houston Rockets. And no, it wasn't the San Antonio Spurs. It seems that Denver Nuggets have the tools that are needed to beat the defending champs. The score was 102 to 108 with the Denver Nuggets getting a W in the end. This was an upset and now it has people thinking, that maybe Denver Nuggets could be the new champs for the NBA this year. The Denver Nuggets preseason record is currently 3-2, and they are looking better than people have expected. Styles Zuch, transgender team, won homecoming king at a Friday night football game. It was at his new school, Noble High, in Maine, after being told to leave his previous Christian private school. Styles stated that his heart dropped, and he was extremely shocked and excited when he won the title. Styles was given two options by his old school, deciding to leave altogether. He now, he's now happy to be where he is. Rapper Nelly was taken into custody last Saturday after being accused of rape to the second degree by a woman who attended the show. The woman stated that it happened on his tour bus around 3 a.m. in the morning, and soon she was able to leave the tour bus. She called nine. She called 911 and an officer responded to the call and took the woman to the local police station. No further news have been released so far, but we will keep you updated. Amazon has created a new way for families to shop. On Wednesday, Amazon introduced a new feature where parents create family accounts. The kids will have their own account, but they will be under their parents' account. After teens finish shopping, Amazon will send the parents a message asking for approval. Parents can also set a spending limit on the accounts. Parents believe this new feature will help them gain more trust in their child's financial decisions. Just a few months ago, NBA Youngboy came out with A1 Youngboy. He dropped it after getting out of jail. That was one of his biggest projects ever. And now the young rapper has all the fans thinking because of just four days ago, he dropped Ain't Too Long. This is really good, but people do not know what is going on. Some theorize that he is leaving the industry. Going back to jail, or are you going back to something that might get them killed doing? <clears throat> American Horror Story Colt's newest episode was edited due to the events in Las Vegas last week. The episode originally had a graphic mass shooting scene, but was edited to feature less on screen violence. FX says that the altered episode will show on the FX channel. The original will be able on demand, as well as FX Now and FX Plus. Ryan Murphy, the producer, wished not to trigger or upset any viewers with the original. His final decision was to re-edit, saying it was the right move. October 9th, Lamborghini released a statement that they are currently in the process of working on an affordable four-door supercar. They stated that the price of the supercar will stand around $200,000 and will be expected to hit the streets around May of 2018. Many people are skeptical about the overall performance of the car. Lane McGurney said not to worry for they have been keeping this secret for many years and everything is going to work out for the better. Imagine being held captive by a Taliban-affiliated network. Well, that was a reality for one family. An American woman, her Canadian husband, and their three children were just released from from captivity. Oh, from being captured for five years. Caitlin Coleman was seven months pregnant. The U.S. authorities were tracking the hostages the whole time they were held captive. 
the Pakistani government were cooperating with the U.S. government to get the family free. They were released Thursday. Today in California, some areas that have the most wildfires have ravaged tens of thousands of acres died down enough through Wednesday, Wednesday for the Sheriff's Department to check on more than 600 missing people reports by visiting burned-out neighborhoods. Same wildfire have burned nearly 170,000 acres throughout the state. The death toll is now 23, and it might be more by the end of the day. Officials say that Wednesday that almost 8,000 firefighters are involved in to con trying to contain the blazes. It is a lot of people that really don't have nowhere to sleep. I hope things get better for them. That's it for today here on Rockdale Live. I'm Jalen. And I'm David. And I have a